My hope is that six months from now, these two of you are going to be in a different place. And, and I think that the support structure that you are building potentially together, I just have really high hopes mm -hmm. because a grave injustice has been done here to an entire family. And I'm sorry that you both had to go through this. And yet I'm also hopeful. And Jason, I want to say I'm grateful for all the work you do. Lindsay, I'm grateful that you showed up today when you didn't have to. While we're at it, yes. I want to say I'm grateful to you both and the whole doctor's team because Michelle's case is just another example of if you or someone you love gets arrested for something you didn't do, don't say anything. Say your name and tell them you want a lawyer and stop talking. That's so important because my goal is to prevent things like this from ever happening again. Obviously, we'll never be able to totally stop it, but if we can save one more person mm -hmm. from going through, and it might be someone you love, it might be one of you, it, might, you know, it could happen to any one of us. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so we need to educate you know, our, our families and our loved ones and our friends, and that's you know, one of the reasons I'm so grateful to be here on The Doctors, and you know, so, uh, I mean, I feel like I need a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you all for being here today, and, and Lindsay and Michelle, may the healing begin. And you actually, maybe it gets back to the anything you say can be held against you, and if you are arrested and being falsely accused, don't say anything. Get a lawyer there. They're not and your friends. Certainly... They're not your friends. They're not on your side. Um, in Michelle's case, she was interrogated for eight hours without an adult or a lawyer. She was 17. It was illegal in the state of Oklahoma to interrogate a minor without the presence of an adult. And I believe, having dealt with so many people who have falsely confessed, and even her confession wasn't really a confession, that she would have confessed to kidnapping the Lindbergh baby <laughs> or assassinating Abe Lincoln if she had to. She just wanted to get out of that room and get to you, and they tricked her into believing that that's what was going to happen, and that's how we ended up in this situation. So it goes back to what I said before. Just say your name and you want a lawyer, and then stop talking. And, and again, I'd say keep up the great work.